everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy on the 11th day of Advent. And today from the Advent calendar, we're, I'm drinking Christoph Fell Belgian White Ale. Um, let's see, Belgian Wheat Ale. So let's see what I wrote down. It looks like this particular beer is 5% alcohol by volume. It's top for a minute, obviously it's an ale. Again, it it says it's best served at 4 degrees Celsius, which from the earlier Christoffel vid video, um, I believe I said it was 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit. It has an EBU of 13, an EBC of 6, that's the color rating, so you can see it's like really light. It's like a light yellow, but it's kind of hazy, so I can't see through it. Uh, type, it says white, obviously. I mean, it says that right on the label, so. And then it's made with barley malt, wheat, oat, coriander, orange peels, and hops. So I'll leave a link for the website in the description, just in case you want to check it out. Without further ado, cheers. Not bad. Um, better take another drink. It's a pretty good beer. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that this like a. Oh, excuse me. I get the belches already. How terribly crude. Um, I guess I was expecting it to be more like. Um, a blue moon. It's very similar to a blue moon, but it, um, I don't think it's got it as heavy of a mouthfeel. It's not not as thick, I guess. And um, I don't know. It's not as sweet, which isn't terrible. Um, might make it a little bit easier to drink. The the orange and the coriander are kind of there, but it's not overpowering. And then you can pick up the wheat too. Whereas with Blue Moon, I don't know that you really do. Or like a Shock Top. Both of those are pretty heavy on the orange peel. And this one really isn't. This one is a little bit, I, I would say, better balanced. Not that I dislike Blue Moon or Shock Top or any of those other Belgian-style white beers. Um, Yeah, I better have another drink, though. Yeah, it's just it's just a nice balance of all of the flavors. Um, and I'm sure with this, like with the other with the American versions of Belgian whites, you could probably add an orange slice or something to it, but I would totally drink this all on its own. I wouldn't add the, the garnishment to it, I guess. And hmm, what else can I say about this? No, it doesn't really say anything on the bottle. It just says Belgian wheat ale with orange peel and coriander. So, I don't know. Uh, so far, Christoph L is two for two. Um, I think I have the blonde. Pretty sure I saw the blonde Christoph Fell in the in the advent calendar. I, I don't know when that's showing up. I feel like it's towards the end, so, um... Oh, excuse me. I ate a pretty sizable meal before I did this, so... <clears throat> if it sounds like I'm struggling for breath, it's because I'm trying to... <clears throat> trying to talk over a full stomach, and like sometimes that's just not easy to do. But back to the beer. The beer is good. I would totally drink it. Um... I'm, I hate to go out on a limb and say this, but I really think that the 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 Christoph Fell people really know their stuff. They make they make some really good beers. At least the two that I've had. I'll try the blonde here some other time, and I think that's really all I got for this beer. It's a good beer. If you can find it, drink it. Um, it's not like American white Belgian white beers. It's um, I I know. 
some people love them, some people hate them. I, I, I like them. I, but again, I, I don't know that there's a beer that I don't like. Really. Or at least that I, you know, that I couldn't drink. But this is a good beer, so I'm going to stop rambling and leave you with that. Um, join me again tomorrow on the 12th day of Advent. I have no idea what I'm drinking yet, but as soon as I get done filming this, I will get it out of the Advent calendar and go put it in the my uh, beer fridge to, to chill for the night. So until then, this is the Malta Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely.